Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for another little random out and about adventure. I'm in a car with two of my friends right now. We're in Burbank, California, and there's something kind of cool uh, that they put up in Burbank uh, a few weeks ago, maybe even less. By the time you see this, probably a few weeks. But uh, we're going to something very special. Come along with us. But it's always nice walking around downtown Burbank. I always like to feel and vibe. They have Christmas stuff going on out here. Kind of feels like Danny's neck of the woods, where Danny lives, but year-round over there. You know, just like take a look at like the, you know, it's, everything's decorated uh, out here. Out here they decorate early. You know, it's not that early, but you know, it is the Christmas season. Go out there, take, take selfies and stuff. But the cool thing we're going to, down yonder. Well, we're walking up on the epic thing that's new in Burbank right now. And can you see it right here? It is Batman. It is Batman protecting protecting Burbank downtown over here right next to the AMC uh, movie theater which has been closed for months but how epic is this man a big Batman statue just chilling doing its thing and my friends are over here we're over here just chilling and uh yeah I don't know, I don't know how did this come out here uh, about a, what two weeks ago something like that about a couple weeks ago. I heard it's seven feet tall yeah and I heard it's 600 pounds this thing is 600 pounds yeah, it's like it's not going anywhere too. Yeah. I mean, it looks pretty planted. That's cool. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know if this is this could be a temporary thing, but it should be permanent. Dude. Yeah. This thing is badass, though. This thing is bad fucking ass. Now, what, what era of Batman would you say this is? It looks it, like New Fifty Two. It looks like Jeff Johns. Fifty uh, Two. Yeah. Okay. Okay. New 52, yeah. That is badass. The detail on it is really good. I mean. Yeah. So if you're in Burbank, definitely check it out. What are you doing? I'm smiling. <laughs> 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 That was fun, seeing the Batman statue out here in Burbank. But listen, I don't know if you guys know this or not, that's ever been to Burbank, California. These guys already know. But there's this Christmas tree that's over here, and it's magic. It's a magic Christmas tree. And for anybody that walks through it and wishes really hard for a place they want to be, it transports them there. So you want to walk through the thing with us? Sure. Let's go. We're gonna walk through this magical Christmas tree right now. See, some, some people don't want to go in it, but if you go in it, it transports you somewhere very, very Feel it. special. Whoa! 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 I'm Whoa. Busy. Were, were you guys thinking about a Christmas tree lot too? No, I, I don't know how we. Where, where the? Where, where are we? I don't know, but it smells real good in here. Yeah, I guess. I, I guess. You know, I, I was the one thinking about a Christmas tree lot, but uh, yeah. So, are you thinking about getting one or something? Yeah, I am. I don't know if I can get one because where I live is like two hours away from here, but uh, I'm not gonna lug it on the train to go back. But, dude, this is, I, I always like the smell and feel of these uh, uh, Christmas tree places. Like these places right here are usually like pumpkin patches and things, but the smell. I like it. It's like fresh. Yeah. Dude, and they even have a they even have a petting zoo in here. How you doing? What you man, they even have a, a chicken up in there, a rooster? Something? Dude, they have all sorts of different little animals in here. We even got little baby pigs. Little baby pigs in this petting zoo right here. And we got mama pig over there looking like she's kind of upset. Mama pig. Mama pig, you okay? You okay, mama pig? Guys, where are you going? You guys are running away from me? Oh, hey! Why are you guys not coming in here? You see the baby pigs over there? Yeah, the baby pigs over there, and the mama got pissed because they were she was like, they were getting annoyed or something. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I can't believe you're not coming in here with me. This is the... This is the type of feed that they that most of the goats eat and the sheep. Okay, so this is for the sheep and stuff? Okay. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you. Guys, you guys want some? Would you guys want some? I'm your friend. I ain't gonna do nothing to you. Here you go. Here you go. See, it's okay. I ain't gonna do nothing. Is it yummy? Just don't eat my fingers. 
But as you guys can see, the little baby pigs are just sort of hanging out down there, just chilling, trying to keep each other company, keep each other warm. Yeah, this is definitely the place I wanted to get transported to today. How, how cute is that, guys? Well, guys, I was just given this food right here for the pigs, but these, these guys are coming up on me right now. Okay. All right, calm down. Calm down. Okay, hey, 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 hey. Hey. Oh, oh, how you doing? You hungry? What's up, bro? Hey, hey, how you doing, Unker? <laughs> oh, are you gonna attack me? Well, we're at our next destination right now, the Burbank Mall, going into this place called Halo 13. Let's head on in there. I think it's like a comic book store and has all geeky stuff in there. Even one of these machines, claw machines. But let's head on in and see what they got going on in here. Boys, I've been seeing these ones in Targets recently, and I've been really kind of like, I've been kind of wanting to get them, but I don't know. Like, what am I going to do with them? I'm not going to open them, you know? Well, these are kind of cool, these, these horror ones. Yeah, no, those, those ones are badass. They have a lot of these NECA figures. A lot of these NECA figures up in here, along with this um, Friday the 13th mask, which is pretty badass from the final chapter. That is, that is pretty killer. That is pretty killer. Even a scream. Is this NECA? No, it's Real Toys. Real Toys NECA figure. Big old Michael Myers up there. Hey boys. Boys. Yeah. You guys see this big old wall of pillows right here? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah th these things are, are pretty killer. I like the Labyrinth one. Yeah, the, lab the Labyrinth one up here is pretty pretty sick. Next to the Mars attacks and everything. Dude, what, what is this one from right here? Well, that's Evil Dead. Uh, no, no, Evil Dead, but like... Oh. Like this, like this image looks familiar it's to me. It's like an 80s, um, yeah. generic thing. Probably. Of course, Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street and stuff. And We just got out of that, that little comic shop. But there's something over here that I didn't think I was going to see this year. Uh, you know, the, of course, with, you know, the way the world is right now. But check, check this out. Check this out. Movie theaters are closed. Other big places are closed. But this is still happening. Hi, Santa. Hi, COVID Santa. How you doing? Merry Christmas, COVID Santa. He at least is being safe. He's wearing a mask. Thank you, COVID Santa. <laughs> Santa's here, bro. Are you excited? Yeah, I, I am excited. And he's, he's wearing a mask. Well, yeah. You want to go sit on his lap? Well, definitely I didn't think I was going to come across uh, a Santa Claus in a mall this year, especially with all the closures and, you know, all the crazy stuff that's going on in the world. COVID Santa. It's a thing. Hashtag. COVID, COVID Santa. From COVID Santa to blast from the past over here in Burbank. Let's head on in and see what kind of cool collectibles uh, they have in there. Right before we go walk into blast from the past, they have a Mandalorian uh, mural up here with the child or baby Yoda himself. That just shows you some of the cool stuff that they have inside this store. Just made it up in here, looking at all the different cool things that they got going on uh, in this place. The, the tick toys and Ninja Turtle ones. This is from the Ninja Turtles Mutant 3. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 toy. That's pretty sick right there. I have a whole bunch of these. I have a whole bunch of these in a box in the garage. These clerks uh, in action figures. I don't know. I, don't, I think I'm thinking about maybe selling them. So if there's anybody that's interested, I have like a whole bunch of uh, these clerks in action figures in, in my garage. If anyone's interested, let me know. Maybe we can make a deal. I have like a shit ton of them. A shit ton of them. But they also have these Back to the Future uh, toys right here. They have this Biff Tannen one. I mean, Biff's cool. But I would, I would want to get it for this. Because I would love like a replica of the Sports, sports Almanac to have on my wall and stuff. That would be, that'd be killer. That would be killer right there. Check this out. They even have a big ass E.T. Uh, up there. It's $350. And he's even wearing a Santa hat. And if you guys want a Snoop Dogg uh, of Horrors uh, poster, they got you covered uh, at this place right here. 1999. Oh, they have some classic posters too. Some classic uh, one, one sheet posters up in here. Some of which may be reprints, but not 100% sure if, if all of them are or aren't uh, when, it, when it comes to some of these ones. Liberty Heights, that was a great one. Who may be wearing this uh, Bah Humbug hat right here? Oh, hello, Fred. Nice to meet you. Actually, I don't want to shake your hand, sir. I don't want to shake your hand. Check out all the different cool collectibles that they have in here. I think Aaron's thinking about getting the Necronomicon 
right here. It's a hundred dollars though. Well, it's cool. There's a good look inside here. Mm -hmm. It has all the artwork on the. Oh, like the little, like the writings. Oh shit! You can, yeah, you can kind of see it. It has the little, the little writings in there. That's that's badass, sir. That's badass. Hey, David. Yeah. Do you collect Funko Pops at all? Uh, I don't, but I do like to buy some for friends because I know they love it. Yeah, I only have two in my collection, but uh. I don't know if I want to start start collecting them unless I get them uh, they're signed or some shit like that. Hey, check out these Bob's Big Boy ones. All oh, the Bob's Big Boy ones? Oh yeah, these are all custom custom things. If you guys live out here here out here in California, I'm sure you guys know uh, Bob's Big Boy. Well, we're coming down to our end of our little adventure uh, right here. We did a couple of uh, random things. You know, we got transported to other places. Mm -hmm. We saw Batman. That was cool. That was yeah. really rad. I got to um, pet a goat. See uh, a, a couple of uh, baby pigs mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I'm not a goat, bitch. <laughs> but uh, some people call me that on, on, on the internet. I'm the goat. I don't know why. But uh, it was fun kicking it with you boys. Uh, I, li I, like, I like your chin diaper, dude. Yeah, thank you. Chin diapers really, really come together. It really, it really pulls your outfit together. Yeah, it does. But uh, you guys have any final words today for our little outing adventure? Mm. Uh, Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. <laughs> and a Happy New Year. <laughs>